It's Monday, gang, as per usual of these recordings. Crash of the Titans against Eddie Brock Venom. And I have to remember his black ability give and take. So we'll go ahead and look at all of his skills and abilities and get a game plan on how we're going to defeat him. His green ability which costs 13 but it has a has a built in ability that lowers the required AP threshold to fire off this ability uh, it depends on how many special tiles that we have on the bo on the board the more special tiles we have the lower this move will become up to 7 AP and it will just it'll do a little bit of a board shake destroying some number of tiles on the board and then additionally if there's you know tiles that are destroyed it'll destroy um <clears throat> uh, a random tile you know for each special tile that's on the board obviously it doesn't generate ap and then it obviously will do damage to us and again like i said it will cost less ap for strike attack or protect tiles that are on the board i know i said special tiles but when you think of special tiles those are the ones that you really think of the most i know countdown tiles and invisibility those are special tiles too give and take is his black ability this is the one that i really want to focus in on so enemy protectile strength is reduced by 50 percent venom's match damage is increased by 45 percent but matches that are venom's opposite colors red blue and purple which our Spider-Man's colors, for the most part, deal more damage to Venom, and then at higher levels, more match damage um, dealt to Venom. Well, more dealt to us, and then less match damage towards Venom, and then reduction of uh, enemy protectiles is down to one. Now, Lethal Protector, this is the yellow ability. What we have to worry about is whenever he has non-yellow, he'll deal damage to us. And he'll make a Protectile on the board. Once we, you know, we're dealt a certain amount of the health damage or I should say it meets his health damage threshold now as long as there are more protectiles on the board whenever he fires this ability off he will deal you know much more damage to us so so we gotta try and keep as few protectiles as we can on the board while not getting dealt that maximum amount of damage that he does. As far as affiliations for Eddie Brock Venom, heroes, well, it should be heroes, at least, at least how I think about it in the comic books now. But villains, Sinister Six, Symbiotes, Spider-Verse, Enhanced, again, if they had an anti-hero, sure, if they had a hero, yeah but it is what it is all right manis which i need to take this boost here off anyways go with the team up boost she is a purple yellow and green user and i almost clicked into the fight and i didn't want to do that her purple ability is a passive, you are afraid. If we match or destroy enemy special tile, 
create a one turn purple countdown tile that stuns a random enemy for four, for four turns. Or if the countdown tile is on the board, or if the enemy is already stunned, then we'll do a massive amount of damage instead. Oversharing is her yellow ability. Gives a chosen friendly strike attack or protectile to the enemy team. And then a burst of health to the ally with the lowest health. And then if that ally happens to be a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy, then it just then it decreases the strength of the given tile by whatever the listed amount is to a minimum of one and then higher levels more burst health and then reducing the given tile strength even further and then finally sleep is her green ability that costs eight it stuns the target for three turns and it creates a three turn repeater tile that while that tile is on the board, it gives them um, a burst of health. And what I mean by them, it means the enemy that's stunned. Now, if this tile happens to be matched away by either team, you deal damage to the, to the enemy that you targeted the ability towards. And then you stun Manus for two turns. And then while a sleep tile is on the board you can't fire off the power multiple times so again just to make make it so you can't stun multiple enemies her affiliation for those that care heroes guardians of the galaxy cosmic and non-humans now the strategy for this fight here we kind of do want to put venom to sleep so we do want to chase after green now, funnily enough, we do want to kind of match away that green countdown tile as fast as we can. The more turns that he has asleep, the more healthy he heals, and and then it's gonna be kind of uh, to 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 eventually get that health all the way down. So that's the the ebb and flow right there alternatively uh we could let venom damage us a lot with either his yellow or his green ability that gives us a protectile and then we give the protectile to him with our yellow ability and then match it away and then put him to sleep that way again there's about those are the two options that we pretty much have. Um, whatever the board decides to give us, that's what we're going to go with. And I'm, as always, I do m let my matches do the talking.
Alrighty. That was fun. It literally was because I had to figure out how in the world I was going to match it with this sleep tile. And sure enough, there it was. And then it's like I said too, it's like as long as that sleep tile is on the board, you know, if you're not doing enough damage to get that tile or to offset the damage that the sleep tile is healing the opponent for, you'll be in for a world of trouble. As far as people to pair up Mantis with, anybody that makes enemies strike, attack, protect, enemy special tiles, period. So the main person you might would pair her up with is either version of Carnage, the five star or the four star. Those are some good options there. Um, you think here. Who else makes enemy special tiles? Um, Wolverine, the the, the four, well, the three star Wolverine, with his red and green abilities. Those those are options there. Uh, let me think here. Let me think who else who else makes enemy special tiles but if you use mantis along with carnage and then medusa you know you got a little bit of a healing team there the only thing you would have to worry about is the the lack of blue outlet so there you know there's a little bit of a problem there um, alternatively, if you want to go with a pure Guardians of the Galaxy team, her and Drax, along with, with, um, Rocket and Group, that always will work. Uh, Star-Lord, if you want to, if you want to replace Drax and make all of their powers a little bit more cheaper, that's an option there. Gamora, if you, if you want to keep the stuns going and dealing a little bit more damage and then you have a way to to give out enemy enemy strike attack or protect well attack and strike tiles in Gamora's case that's always an option there too uh Polaris you know but once Polaris starts to flood the board with uh, all those strike tiles is that there's going to be less of an opportunity to make those countdown tiles to put your opponents to sleep. So again, Madness is pretty fun. Uh, the next crash, uh, 6 days, 19 hours as of this recording, is with Gwenpool, so we should have some fun with her. I don't know if I have her champion maxed or not. I think I should have her at 370. We'll double check and see real quick before I let you all go. Yeah, she's at 370 and then I have another one on deck. So cool. So I will intentionally not champion uh, my oh my 270 is champion. Okay, so we'll we'll run with her for one of the crashes and then the other one, you know, blah blah blah. The other thing we got to talk about, no, not you, Victor. I know you have your PvP event coming in right now. The Good Fortune store. I did some pulls earlier. Well, earlier, meaning yesterday before I went to sleep. This here is probably one of the better vaults you're going to see throughout 2024. I mean, there might be one or two that might be better. However, with the with the characters that you have up in here, Okoye again, she's still really good, great for PVE, clearing out uh, mobs pretty quick. Her Omega Red and Gore, the God Butcher, Apocalypse, he's still still pretty beastly. One of the excuse me, one of the cheaper AP starters or I should say the AP boosters in the uh, 
in the fight, or I should say damage dealing boosters in the fight. There we go. And then Beta Ray Bill, he's still pretty solid with his with his green um, multi attacking random enemies, and then his blue making making a uh, countdown tile which just protect tiles and then if you match his protect tiles away his yellow passive kicks in which gives him AP in both green and yellow and he ironic ironically pairs up well with apocalypse because apocalypse is black destroys all protect tiles on the board which which is going to give you a massive amount of damage to the to the person that you're hitting or random enemies in this case here and then apocalypse is yellow gives out protectiles on the board and it's also the damage booster as well and then red is just hey you're you got an enemy that's low in health well they're they're just pretty much done in the fight so yeah if you chase after apocalypse fantastic and you and you get him champion, go for it. If you get better a build champion, boom, go for it. Or get 13 covers, boom, go for it. Okoye again. Her, you could use the three star version of Omega Red, or you can use the five star version of Omega Red. It doesn't really matter. And then Gore the God Butcher, and then like I said, you can clear uh, your PVE and and roughly. 20 minutes again i have a 550 okoye it takes me about 20 minutes to clear pv pve like that's like done and dusted like i just put okoye mega red and gore up up on on any node that's that's not too health pack intensive and yeah i just go to town but anyway, that is uh, enough of me rambling there. I'll probably pull some more up in this store here. Uh, obviously off camera because I don't want to make you guys see however many pulls I get. I don't know if, I'm, if I want to get Apocalypse to 500 or Beta Ray Build to 500. I haven't really decided yet, but I got some time to decide that there. But anyway, uh thank you all for watching hopefully the strategy uh, that I did with Manus will uh, help you out as well you know be excellent to your fellow human beings and I will catch you all next Monday with another double crash of the Titans until then peace